three miles from Sholden, we arrive at the Mead in the village of Stoke and Teenhead. In the village there is a shop, a pub, a new village hall and a primary school and it's just a 10 minute stroll to Maidencombe Beach. The property has four strake five bedrooms, this large driveway with gated entrance, the double garage and half an acre of formal garden plus a sizeable area of parkland. So we have a large open hallway and all the rooms lead off this central point and link back to it, as you'll see as we're going round. The first room being the living room. So the bay window there, throwing in lots of natural light and plenty of seating, so ideal if you have a big family. And then the gas fireplace over there. And then these double doors close off so you can have complete separation from the living room to the sunroom or second living room, if you will. And this room's just great if you have teenage children or younger children. And then from this room, you can also walk straight out onto the patio. Through here, we have an office. And then downstairs, cloakroom. A couple of little steps take you back to the hallway. There's some storage under the stairs. And then the kitchen. In the kitchen, it's a really good size for starters and there's no end of storage. Everything centres around the island and really nice that you have the breakfast bar on the island as well. Just off the kitchen is a utility room and from there you can access the garden. But a really nice feature in the kitchen is the fact that you have this open fire. And because the kitchen and dining room are linked, you can actually view the fireplace from the dining room as well. And as you can see, you can fit a generous sized dining table there, so it's ideal for entertaining. Now upstairs to the bedrooms. So the first room we come to is a double. It's dual aspect and has fantastic views over all of that land. And it has a really big ensuite bathroom, which is actually almost bigger than the family bathroom. And as well as the bath, you've got the walk-in shower. The top of the stairs, we have the family bathroom here. Again, that has a walk-in shower as well. And then another double room on the front of the house, and that overlooks the area of garden next to the driveway. Then a twin room, and again, a very good size room. Plenty of space for storage at this end of the room. And the master bedroom. Now, this is where the opportunity comes to have that fifth bedroom. So at the moment, this room here is being used for storage. Um, I guess it could be a walk-in wardrobe as well, but it would make an ideal nursery. And then in the master bedroom, we've got all of this storage built in here. And there are five windows in this room, so it's such a bright room. High ceilings as well. And from the bed, you can look across the garden. Lovely view. And then the ensuite shower room, which again has a Velux window, so it's really nice and bright in there. And it's such a beautiful day out there, I think we should go out and explore the gardens. So as I said earlier, you can access the garden straight from the kitchen and also from the sunroom or second living room. There's a patio right outside there that's west facing so it gets sun from around midday. And then you also have the summer house and that's in a private secluded area of garden. From there you can walk through the archway to this enormous area of land. There's a stream that runs through and not only this bridge, but another one further down to cross the stream. And behind me, you can see the barn and one end of the barn is set up as a stable, the other being storage for the sit on lawnmower and all the tools, but it would make an ideal spot for a small holding. In addition to that, you also have two further stables towards the front of the house and an integral garage there. And then there's a set of doors that open right up so you can actually get a horse box in or a trailer with a boat on it. And there are so many places around here to launch a boat because not only are you close to the beach, but you also have the River Teen. <laughs> 